Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Wasim Kempson and this is my dua that came true. So I want to go back to 1995 and I had been a Muslim for a little over a year. And I used to attend a Saturday circle where we used to study some fiqh and some aqidah. And uh, on one occasion, after attending for a number of months, I met some good brothers. There was a brother whom I'd never seen before and when he walked into the room that everybody came to hug him and give him salams and it wasn't a normal uh, individual who walked in the, in the room so I asked who is he and he, they said to me that he is a student of the Islamic University of Al-Medina. Uh, I was maybe what, 18 at the time. So I said you can study Islam like at university level? They said yeah. And there's a well-known famous university in, in Al Medina. So after some research, I decided and I thought, this is what I want to do. I want to be able to learn Islam from its sources. And I can learn the Arabic language and I can learn Islam, not by myself, but I can go to scholars and learn the Quran in the Arabic language, learn and listen to the Sunnah in the language that it was revealed. So I went and I did whatever is necessary to apply to the university. And at the end uh, of the interview, I asked the individual, am I accepted? And he said, inshallah. I took this as an acceptance and a yes. So for the few brothers that knew that I'd uh, gone for the interview in Medina, I came back and I told them, I said, I've been accepted. And they were astounded as, well, what do you mean accepted? How do you know that? I said, well, you know, he said to me, inshallah. And I was a new Muslim. And they said to me, no, 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 no. You have to understand you know, what inshallah means here. I said, no. This is the inshallah that I'm going to get accepted. And then they said to me that we recommend you should make dua. You know, ask Allah to go there. So when they said that to me, I took their advice. And this was something that, you know, at this particular time of my life, I'd never wanted something so much. And um, it's not a reflection of the level of sincerity or how great a person I was. Absolutely not. That any goodness or any answering of dua for any one person is only through the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But it is something I really, really wanted to do. So, you know, I used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what I want to do. I'd love to study Islam and I would like to do this. And I had so many kind of dreams and things I wanted to achieve uh, by studying Islam. And just a few months later, alhamdulillah, maybe seven months later, I got a, a letter of acceptance. And the level of uh, happiness uh, upon receiving that letter is something which is, well, at least for me, represents one of the, for a concentrated amount of time, is one of the most happiest times of my life. And it goes to show the importance of, you know, if you want something really desperately enough, you want something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are sincere enough, I guess, and uh, you are consistent with your dua, then Allah Jalla Ala he will give that to you, inshallah ta'ala, if you have a good intention, sincere intention, and want good for yourself and others. So this is one of the most important uh, things that happened in my life. And you know, no doubt it's through the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was achieved also by, you know, by me making dua. And I think it shows the importance of, of making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.